idea that you can somehow boil a mind, a spirit down to brain activity is just deeply repugnant to many people. People want their minds to be beyond all measure. The idea that their minds are boringly finite is not attractive. And so people want to believe that there's more and more and more and more in their mind than any science can ever tell them. One of the problems of explaining consciousness is that people think they're conscious of a lot more than they actually are conscious of. So one of the first things you have to do before doing a good theory of consciousness is you have to, you have to beat consciousness back down to size. You have to get a proper account of what the phenomenon is. For instance, in vision, we tend to have the idea that we take in this whole wonderful world outside and have this inner replica of the whole world there somehow in our conscious mind. And that's just not true. So it seems that way, but it's just not true. We take in a lot less and we hold in our heads a lot less than we think. And I propose some experiments in Consciousness Explained that would dramatically reveal this. Change blindness is one of my favorite demonstrations to convince people that they don't know what they think they know about their own consciousness. If you show a person a picture and then distract them for just a brief fraction of a second, then show them a variation on that picture. You move something, you change the color of something. Very, very often, people will not be able to see that change at all. And one can show these pictures to people, A, B, A, B, A, B, with a little blank in between, and people just won't see the change. Everybody in the field knew, of course, that our vision is built up piecemeal from separate fixations. Your eyes move point to point to point to point. You, you pick up a glimpse here and a glimpse there. And they had the idea that these glimpses were were used to sort of tile a plane, as if to, to, to fill in this region and then fill in that region and then fill in this other region, and that this built up in your head a glorious big picture with all those details captured by all those individual glimpses. But in fact, you take in a lot less than that. Uh, and that isn't all put together anywhere. It doesn't have to be all put together anywhere. All you have to do is just keep track of the things you need to keep track of to do the things you're doing. And the rest of it just isn't there. Well, I think what, what upsets people even more than the discovery that they don't know everything about their own minds, their own conscious minds, is the very idea that their mind might be a mechanism, that there isn't something magical about the mind, that it's just neurons doing their ultimately electromechanical things. One of my favorite artifacts is the British Seagull outboard motor, which is dead simple. And their motto is, what isn't there can't break. Much the same could be said about consciousness. Uh, what isn't there doesn't have to be explained. It's just not there.